Good morning, and I greet you with the spirit of Ubuntu. Can you say with me, Ubuntu? Ubuntu. Wonderful. Ubuntu, U-B-N-T-U, is a notion that we are somehow interconnected. It's a Zulu notion. Somehow, human beings are interconnected. And I believe in Ubuntu, and I'll tell you why. The women in Mumbwa village are the source of my inspiration. When I was growing up, my mother worked in a city and uh, she was never there. So these women collect collectively became my mother. To a simple, someone looking in or someone just looking into these women, they looked so simple. To me, they were unbreakable, they were strong. Their lives were so tough, they wake up in the morning, fetch firewood from a well, cook for their kids, go to the farm where they're harvesting cotton or ground nuts, and we say peanuts in America. These women will come home and were expected to be the glue of the family, and they'll go to sleep with a smile on their faces, wake up the next morning, do the same thing over and over. They taught me something about life, that there will be trials and tribulations, but one has to get up and persevere. They told me you have to own the hardship and utilize the resources that you have in front of you and get up. So to this day, their spirit of Ubuntu keeps me going and I hope one day I can raise that village that raised me. I was born in South Sahara, Africa, or Southern Africa, Zambia. But I grew up in the intersectionalities of culture from three different countries, Zambia, Zimbabwe, and South Africa. Because of intermarriages and people migrated, I think someone was talking about apartheid. So I was fortunate at the younger age to have these different cultures and learn different languages. And yes, just like majority of rural African children where I lived in a village, I too went to school barefoot. And yes, I sat on a brick to write and sharing sometimes a pencil or a pen. But I was one of the few lucky ones. I migrated to Japan. My mom worked in Japan. I finished my middle and high school in Tokyo. And my women shifted from the village women I didn't want you to see their faces because you might fall in love with the village women. <laughs> they are my source of inspiration. Now my village became a global village. I moved to Japan, my, inter my international school had 66 nationalities. I said, wow, the world has opened to me. For the first time I realized that I had seen the world from the media and I had to deconstruct what I seen from the media. I thought every Caucasian person, fair-skinned person, light-skinned person, spoke English. For the first time, I realized English was not a universal language. <laughs> Reality hit. My friend Tanya from Germany, I said, Tanya, you can't speak English. She was in my ESL class. My friend Nadia, who said she was former Yugoslavia and Czech Republic, they, they didn't speak English. So I realized, as humans, we are more connected than we think. I had struggles in Japan, but because of the spirit of Ubuntu, I survived and I enjoyed. I loved Japan, but high school was over. I had to move to the United States. My village then shifted to my professors, because I was alone, away from my family, shifted from the village, the global now, it came to my professors, my mentors that encouraged me to do better in school. They encouraged me to apply for Fulbright. So I'm the Fulbright that went out, out of US to another country. I received a Fulbright to Tajikistan to conduct a research on food security among wives of labor migrants. As we know, Tajikistan's GDP relies mainly on remittances coming from abroad to the country. I went there, I had challenges. I didn't stop, I said, you know what? Let me do Peace Corps. I didn't want to go back to the US. I wanted to give back to the country. I served in a Peace Corps in Macedonia. In those two countries, my international experience, 
I felt hardship, but because of the spirit of Ubuntu, the community also saved me. How did they save me? Well, I realized that they didn't have a skin tone makeup that matches my skin tone. I didn't know where to get it in Macedonia. I said, okay. And uh, as a woman, we love our hair done. No one could braid my hair. So should I teach people? But because of the spirit of Ubuntu, the community got together and asked for people to help me out. So they'll find someone going to Turkey. Oh, they're going to Turkey. Your skin, they'll find your skin tone. I said, skin tone what? Oh, the foundation. So we'll send someone from Turkey and bring it. That's the spirit of Ubuntu. My international experiences taught me that we have to acculturate ourselves in different communities. With that notion, I know that the uh, global change, touching hearts and minds for global change, with the spirit of Ubuntu, we can succeed. I am Dr. Grace Mukupa today because of the spirit of Ubuntu. And before I leave you today, I want you to continue the spirit of Ubuntu. It's within us. We just have to exercise it. So before I leave, I want you to say one more time, Ubuntu. 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 Thank you very much.